Hello and welcome to Sense the Essence. Today let us explore the theme of having a non-stick mind. A non-stick mind. We all have experienced a, a sticky mind. A sticky mind is, is one that easily uh, holds, it's get, it gets stuck. The situations, to scenes, to people, to dramas, to emotions. In a non-stick mind, it's, it's still like, just like a non-stick pan. Right? You're able to fry things uh, very well. You know? versus frying in a sticky pan. So in a non-stick mind, it's like I'm doing everything with a detached attitude. Nothing sticks. And so I'm able to, just like a non-stick pan, uh, cook everything uh, very, very nicely without attachments. So I'll be able to enjoy every moment of my life. So if you look at the difference between a, a sticky pan versus a non-stick pan. The difference is what they call as a Teflon coating. So the Teflon coating is, is created, uh, basically it's a carbon and fluoride bond. Um, and so there is carbon and it's surrounded by fluorine, fluoride. And so that CF bond is very strong. And because it is strong, uh, if anything comes, it doesn't allow it to get stuck. In the same way, it's like when my mind, I realize that I can create a bond, a bond. And that bond is with the source, the supreme, with the divine. When that bond is strong, then my mind is automatically inert, inert. Just like we have inert gases, like helium is an inert gas. You could also call it a noble gas. And then if you look at chemistry, there's a difference between a reactive element and an inert element. The difference is uh, in a reactive element, the outermost shell, um, uh, is, is not full. And in an inert element or a noble gas, the outermost energy level is full. And because it is full, it is not looking for anything from outside. In a reactive element, it is not full. That is why it is looking for something externally. This, that's why there's a reaction. And so when I have this strong bond with the divine, then uh, it's as if my outer uh, shell, it's like my thoughts are full. I'm operating from a space of fullness. And because I'm full, I'm inert. And the mind becomes a noble mind, just like a noble gas, it's a noble mind. And a noble mind is a non-stick mind. It only knows how to hold benevolent feelings towards everyone, good wishes towards everyone. So a non-stick mind, a noble mind, an inert mind. As a matter of fact, if we look at helium, helium is used to propel the balloons up. So a mind which is inert, like a noble gas, also flies up. It's non-stick, it's inert, it's noble. Let us take a moment to experience this mind. I, the spiritual being, have a very deep relationship with the divine. I know I don't get into the illusion of limited mind. I know the unlimited, the eternal is mine. And this bond gives me the strength to be detached, to be inert, to be noble, and to fly high.
Thank you.